On June 30th, Russia said it voluntarily withdrew troops from Ukraine's Snake Island in the Black Sea. The Russian Defense Ministry said its mission had ended. It implied that withdrawing would allow the export of Ukrainian grain. As a gesture of goodwill, the Russian military completed their assigned tasks on Snake Island and withdrew the garrison. That's misleading. Ukraine forces had extensively bombarded the tiny, exposed outpost. Before the pullout, Russian officials had repeatedly emphasized the importance of holding Snake Island, which they described as well defended. They said it never would be returned to Ukraine. Russia seized the island on February 24th. Alexander Dugin, an ultra-nationalist intellectual seen by many as President Vladimir Putin's brain, wrote that Snake Island plays a crucial role in sacred geography. Russian state media outlet RT called Snake Island a foothold and the key to Odessa. Members of Russia's parliament described Snake Island as Moscow's primary strategic objective in the Black Sea. Ukraine began attacking the Russian garrison on the island after hitting and sinking the Russian-guided missile cruiser Moskova in April. On June 30th, Ukraine announced that Russian forces had been hastily evacuated from the island amid explosions and fire.